All right, I told you I was coming back. I have my vendor empties and unempties. So I don't usually share cotton balls with you all because I just don't. But I did want to say, I don't even know where this pack is from. When I couldn't find cotton balls, I think my husband got me these at Walgreens or somewhere. But honestly, I just want to say that my favorite are the jumbo cotton balls from Walmart. I have tried so many and this these work so well because, you know, especially with Fender Wax, sometimes it's more than like what Scentsy is and I just find two of these I can get most of it out of the warmers so again these are just from walmart the jumbo 200 count all right now we're gonna go with my candles that i'm working on i, don't, I didn't finish any but i i think i posted this review or it's coming this is kringles over the rainbows i did this twice these were on sale for 9.99 one day and i ended up ordering a bunch of the soy blends in these so i could test them out so this again is twice no discoloration in this at all this was beautiful this is a melon fruity melon blend really enjoyed this one ah i'm working on lovely well this one's kind of a mess very waffle cone gosh yeah those wicks are quite a further than the other ones are aren't they and it's quite icky in there. So again, very waffle cone. Um, and this one was honestly more, that one was more medium strong. This one was kind of light. So maybe I'm just going to crock this because A, I don't like how that soot is in there. Um, and this one is discolored if you can see. So I think I'm going to crock this one just because normally I get better performance than that. So I think I'll just crock that one. And you guys already did see my haul and my review on Goose Creek Caramel Vanilla Cone. Again, I and these wicks look better. And look at this after a burn. And this was like five hours, I think. Just look at how beautiful that is. Now, these are, they changed their formula, I think, in the last couple of years. These are soy. I know it doesn't say it on here, but when I ordered, I did check and they were, they are soy. Um, this is beautiful. Again, it's not vanilla waves, but it is a beautiful vanilla caramel. And then the waffle cone is, I smell more vanilla and more waffle cone. The caramel isn't sickeningly sweet because I don't like those kind of scents. It's a great mix in the middle of the vanilla and the waffle cone. This is gorgeous. If you already saw my haul, my original haul and my second order, I, I merged those videos together. Um, I ordered two more of these and I, actually they have a sale today on, um, the melts, I'm going to go order more melts. That scent is beautiful. Okay. Okay. I finished this. I butchered this. I dropped this. It was a big, huge mess. Bath and Body Works coconut cream pie. I don't like the scent in the lotion, but I like the candle. But anyway, it's gone. And I, I, I mean, I love the body cream. I just didn't like that scent. Now let's get into the wax. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. So super tarts. Handmade, which is baby wash orange slices in lavender milk. I use two of these in my um, overnight warmer, bedtime warmer. This is a, it's not my favorite. It kind of does smell like that baby wash, but it's, it's okay. And this one is Arbor, which is <laughs> black sea, avocado, sea salt, nectarine. I use two cubes. It, I have another, no, this is my last clam, but I still have a bag of this. So I enjoy this, but Jaws is still my ultimate favorite blend from if you're I think this is all part of the Jaws blends uh this is swanky pink chiffon strawberries boardwalk marshmallow clouds this is a beautiful blend it's a little bit more perfumey because of the pink chiffon um but it is good I don't think I'll repurchase this when this is done I've warmed it three or four times now I think it's good it's just not a favorite uh, Martha and Snoop from VCS. This is zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes at Tiffany's and brown sugar. Um, this is good. It's just, I would like the performance a little stronger. And this is a year, this is from March of 2022. And she is going out of business. So I'll, I just want to find a different zucchini bread blend because obviously I can't get her. And sometimes her wax doesn't perform well in my house. This is the Melted Mousse Are You Serious Clark, which is a blend, a custom blend I did, but it's all it is is sweet peppermint and creamy vanilla. She has those scents. This is from December of 2021. I use this at nighttime, so it's been taking me a while to get through, but this is the same as Sassy Girl Aromas at the North Pole, and Harper James has it, and I think it's similar called North Pole. 
beautiful blend get you some it's such a creamy blend i don't like heavy heavy nose clearing peppermint at all this is what i love it's creamy and it's dreamy okay i know so if you saw my last empties you saw how much teddy bees i had so much like most of my basket was that and what else was it i can't even remember now it was teddy bees and another vendor like that was most of what my empties were but now you're not going to see that. And this is only a week because that was two weeks. And obviously be with me going, bleh, with me going on vacation. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to edit so much with me going on vacation. I wanted to I record this before I leave. So, um, because I'm probably, I'm not going to get much in a couple days. Okay. So this is uh Teddy bees, Emma of Normandy. And if you saw my haul, this was, um, it's in my warmers right now. I think I can't, this is on day Oh, I can still smell it. Oh, this is so good. This is day three in my studio. And I'm only up here for like four hours. And um, But I do leave the warmers on. I turn them on about 7 a.m. And then they stay on until like 8 o'clock at night. But this is so beautiful. So the scent notes, dark berries, which you get. Sensual orchid blossoms and warm vanilla. The berries in this is beautiful. Fabulous. I think I have another blend where she's got some beautiful berries. This is exceptional. This is ele elegant. It's sophisticated. It's grown up. It's beautiful. Like you could wear this almost like in a perfume clone. I know that Tiffany had said when she was pouring, so I didn't order this in the pre-order. And then when she said when she was pouring this, this was her favorite. I And I, I did post this with my pretty nails on her page. And it actually matches the loaf. Do you see that? <laughs> I didn't plan that. It just worked out that way. Um, the glitter in the loaf, I should say. But she said this was her favorite. So then I, I was like, oh, I should have got that. And I checked my pre-order and I didn't have it. So when this was in the RTS, this was my wild card. Because I never, ever buy a loaf in a sense that I have never warmed. I just don't do it. But I was like, I'm not messing around. I'm going to get this. This was worth the risk. This is going to be beautiful all year. It, the berries are just this dark, elegant berry. I highly recommend you at least trying this. Get a souffle at least. I think a souffle would have sufficed me because of where I warm it in here or in my bedroom. I wouldn't put this in my open concept, but that's just me. I just 99%, well, maybe 95% of the time I do bakery in my open concept because it needs to... Like that's such a big space in my home. So this I would highly recommend. Tiffany, well done. This is beautiful. I don't think she watches my video, but well done, Tiffany. I think I'm going to do L3. That's the other one that I had the most of. I Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any other L3. Okay. All right. Strawberry pound cake cream filled. This was from February or May of 2021. If I could talk. Oh my gosh. This is good. This is actually going, um, this was in my warmers uh, for two days. And this was really good. You know, I don't love strawberry scents um, generally. But this one, I really enjoyed this one. And I'm going to share the other one I right here. Is that it? No. Where is it? Okay. I posted on her. Oh, my gosh. I must have thrown it out because I took a picture of it. It's. I, I must have. I'm sorry. So I, for three days in my warmers, I had, or two days, sorry. I had this going for two days and then I switched it because I was just trying to warm my older wax. Cream filled strawberry pound cake, which is cupcakes at Tiffany's and strawberry pound cake. I told you I don't generally like strawberry blends, but that one was my favorite over this because I wanted to warm the two and see which one I liked. The cream filled strawberry pound cake. I did ask her to report that in her next restock, which is this Friday. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but I also had a custom blend that she picked, which I was super excited about. I did it, it. I picked scents that reminded of me of camping with my kids. So she did pick that. So I'm super excited. Thank you, Jennifer, for doing that. So I really hope she pours the cream filled strawberry pound cake because I'm going to be sitting on the beach, but I am going to have my alarm set so I can get my own custom and then hopefully she'll pour that in scoops. I love scoops. Okay, I did a sample in my husband's bathroom of strawberry or blackberry jam butter cookies. That was very good and it did well. Like I said, I've been trying to use my older wax because these are two years old. The whole cookie jar, which is cookie therapy, sugar cookie dough, pink frosted animal cookies. I just love her pink frosted animal cookies over that. 
Ant Jam, I can't talk. This is literally my fourth video. Uh, Ant Jam's filled jelly roll. Strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla pound cake. This one was good, but I, like I told you, I love the cream filled strawberry pound cake. Blackberry jam, strawberry jam, toasted mallow. That was okay. Then this is going on day two, I think. This is cocoa butter, cashmere, gold sugar, boardwalk marshmallow clouds. This is from July of 2021. So good. When I warmed that, I would repurchase that. I, I really liked it warmed. I, did, I wasn't sure on cold, but I really liked it once I started warming it. Okay. Um, I was working on some, like I told you, older wax. So I did Lourdes whipped. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Lourdes melted. Lemon, lime, soda, vanilla, ice cream, waffle cone. That was good. It was light though. Um, I did in my room here, I did, um, the pharmacist's daughter, rich and creamy, which is good. This was Mac apple birthday cake, French custard, marshmallow fluff. Very good. And this is two years old. These are two years old from Sniff My Tarts. Is this business open still? I just, when I ordered these, it was kind of weird. Like she would post random things on her Facebook page and then you could say if you wanted to order it. And I just didn't vibe with that. And then it took a long time to get it. So I just thought I'm not gonna order, but just let me know, I don't know. This is sugar milk under the big top, buttery caramel brown sugar. That's everything that was in this. And it did well, it was a good blend. Uh, this was gifted to me. This is creamy zucchini bread pie crust ultimate sugar cookie sugar milk. A friend of mine sent me that. That was very good. Okay, Britta, zombie waffles, pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin pie spice. Very good in here. I, you know, I don't like pumpkin pecan waffles, but it was very pretty. I enjoyed it. Britta's fire roasted marshmallow sugar cookie sugar cookie dough. I enjoyed this one. It's almost done. This was gifted to me from Brittany, so thank you for that. This one, Lavender and Speckles Peanut Butter Funnel Cake. So good, yummy, yummy, yummy. Peanut butter blended with sugar cookies and warm funnel cakes. Um, and the scripture says, he is not here, he is risen, amen. Okay, that was so good. I ordered more of that in her pre-order it. Yes, I did. The Melted Mousse, this was so strong for like, so long, like a day and a half. This is Honey Butter Rolls, hot baked Yeast rolls with a hint of whipped cinnamon butter. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is from March of 2022. The last time I did customs. I want more of that. I absolutely love it. Uh, Rose Girls, Birdie, Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land. I have another bag of this. This is raspberry sauce, strawberry jam, birthday cake. Such a good blend. I smell more of the raspberry than anything, but it's so good. <clears throat> this is um, Birdie's Making Sense. This is... Uh, you Keep Me Afloat, which is root beer and vanilla smoothie. This was really old. This was so good. This was two years old. Such a yummy root beer. Oh, Southbound, Happily Ever After. Peony Petals, Magnolia Blossoms, Cotton Candy, Blackberry, and Sweet Sugar Crystals Confection. That was so beautiful. My husband's bathroom and laundry room. Oh my gosh. So good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Goose Creek, Warm and Welcome Melts. I used three of these. This was very good. I don't have the scent notes on this still. It smells like there's sandalwood in this or something. I don't know. I really enjoyed this. I would repurchase that. All right, let's see. I did uh, that Smell Good Shops, Jack's Sugar Cookie. It was a custom blend. This is like two years old when I first ordered from this vendor. So it was good, and I used it in my husband's bathroom. Autumn Flannel by uh, Kay Scented Melts. Look at how old that is. It was good. Another, okay. This one is from Midnight. Dahlia Company brown sugar cookies. That was yummy. Again, two years ago. Okay, and then you guys saw my video where I posted my reviews of these. So I'm I'm not going to go over all the details because I had that video already posted, but I did want to share with you. Uh, from Ebony and Ivory Wax, I did Amazon Falls, Ferris Wheel Date, Strawberry Mochi, which was very good and strong. And then this one was a very good zucchini bread. It's like a apple so unique i don't know red apple zucchini bread very good i would say for the fall okay oh one more from that smell good shop cupcakes at tiffany's blackberry jam butter cookie sugar cookie and that was very good all right and then i did okay <laughs> my friends influenced me okay so i did 
Luna from Candles by Victoria. You saw my haul. I ordered like 60 cent shots or something. This does smell like Scentsies. I don't like it. I don't like Luna. I don't like Amazon Rain. I don't like Luna. I'm probably like the only person in the world who can say that, but I don't like it. That was strong for two days. And every time I walked upstairs, I'm like, I don't like Luna. I just don't like that scent. Now, one I love is Waffle Cone. If you like waffle, true authentic waffle cone, I put this in my front entry. I have three warmers sitting there. This is a fabulous waffle cone. If you like waffle cone, you got to try Candles by Victoria. Her Watch my haul. Uh, her Christmas or Cookies for Santa is another favorite. Her buttercream, cream cheese frosting, like this waffle cone is fabulous. Oh, I got, was it blue hyacinth I warmed? I loved that one. Okay, so Carson, this is why I'm influenced. Carson asked me if I could warm <laughs> uh, one of her peanut butter and jelly blends. And I said, well, which one? Because one is more grape jelly and then this is peanut butter and strawberry jam. So he's like, I don't care. Just pick one. I was like, okay. So. I, I started off with using just half of this and I just added a little bit more in this studio space because it was more light medium and I wanted it more, just a little bit more on the medium scope. I was trying to see how much I would need to use to get it to be strong. Now the waffle cone, I used the whole sun shot and that was strong for two days in my entryway. Literally, it was nice outside. Every time I came in and out, I could smell it even outside. So I bet if I used the whole thing, which isn't bad for $2, what is her scent shots? $2. And then when she has them on sale, I forget, are they $1.85 or I don't remember what they are. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Okay. Um, look at her Facebook group. She posts occasional sales in there, but still $2 a cent shot for like a whole area is fine by me. But this one is definitely more of the strawberry jam. And you do smell the peanut butter in this. Like you absolutely do. And the strawberry. But I'm going to be honest. And I told Carson the same thing. He, he did get, uh, from Teddy B's, the PBNJ, which is the same scent oil as Dexter Pores, but you know, obviously they're not in business right now. And then um, the same scent oil as Salt Mountain Melts. I've tried all of those. I've warmed all of those. If you're going to ask me what my favorite is, I'm going to tell you those are the best, but that is a very wheat bread with honey and jam. This, so I will tell you that Candles by Victoria PB and um, the peanut butter and jelly with the grape that smells more grape and this one smell similar to L3's two blends. So I would say if you order from L3, just get one of L3's um, and you don't want to order from Candles by Victoria. I mean, just try it from L3. I've tried both of the different blends from L3 and Candles by Victoria. Those two are similar, but my favorite one is Teddy B's Dexter Pores, which you can't get and Salt Mountain Melts. Those are my favorite um, PB and J, okay? Now, you already saw this haul. And thank you guys so much for your feedback on Yummer's Delight. I have said in these multiple videos, and it, as well as Ebony and Ivory, was I don't post just because they, I, it's a new vendor. I, you know, even though you get behind the hype and I saw everyone posting their hauls, I'm like, I'm not doing it until I warm the wax. I am not going to post a review. This is just me doing videos for two years. This is just how I do it. There is nothing wrong with any way anyone does anything. Don't take it like that. Don't read into it. It's not like it, me saying anything. Just me personally, I find it's better if I do my format this way for you. And I hope it is helpful. But a lot of you said you really appreciated that. So thank you so much. Okay. So I did Yummer's Delight movie and pop. This one is the butter popcorn and grape soda. Again, I, I don't like this. I get times I smell the grape. Sometimes I smell the buttered popcorn. I just don't like this combo together. I thought I might, but I just don't, okay? And I do love popcorn scents, but that one just wasn't a favorite. Now, Circus Animal was one that I really enjoyed. Now, I told you in that video, I did reach out to the vendor, and because she had a dollar cent shot between when I posted and the correlation of when I was gonna post that and when I bought the wax and when I was posting it, she had had a dollar cent shot in between. Well, then she was cleared out when I posted my video. When I looked a couple days ago, she still really had not a lot of stock in, so I I don't know what to say. I, I didn't get confirmation. I don't know when she's they're restocking. And I'm sorry, I don't know their names. Um, but I really want more of Circus Animal because it's animal crackers and cheesecake. This smells like Circus Peanuts. I want more of this. So I do want more of that one. I um, The next one was Rainbow Sherbert Cone. I didn't like this because it's Sherbert Cone, Fruity Sherbert Waffle Cone. It's more lime heavy, Rainbow Sherbert heavy. 
and I don't get any waffle cone, but that's just me. I'm, it's just my preference, but it was very good. It performed very well. And then I wanted to order more of Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, which is a cinnamon cider lane donut kind of blend, I think. And how cute is the little label? I love the Wizard of Oz movie. Um, but like I said, when I went to look for restock and buying more that it's just not been restocked. So I, I'm not going to order unless I can get a lot of the scents I like. So that was my only one complaint with that vendor um, was I, I pref would prefer more like just knowing when the restock is. So that way, if you go in, I don't want to order and spend, you know, $12 is their flat rate shipping. I don't want to spend $12 in shipping if I don't, if I can't go in and get a lot of the scents. That's just me personally. And I'm kind of frugal with my money and not working right now. So I just want to be very strategic about what I'm ordering. So nothing against anybody. Please don't take it that way. It's just my little opinion here. Okay. That was everything. So you, you would have already seen my Scentsy um, empties and empties. And now this is my, it's only been a week since I, yeah, a week since I posted my last one. So these two are going to be a little close, but you won't see one with, from me the following week because I'll, I'm going to Texas in a couple days. So I, ha I have pre-recorded this. So hopefully I'm just sitting on the beach in Texas and follow me on Instagram. If you're not, it's just charity rose. Um, uh, and you can see some of my, I'll post some stories and videos on there. Uh, my girlfriend that I'm going with, she doesn't like social media at all. Like she's, <laughs> I love her. I wish she would let me share it with her and she, okay. I, I will also say this though. I love her. I don't want to say who she is because I don't know how she feels yet about if I said her name. But hello, because she told me she's watching some of my videos. So hello, sweet friend that I'm going to Texas with. If you let me share your name, I will eventually. But she's not into big and in, she's not big into social media and things like that. Um, but she does a lot of mission work in Haiti. So if you're ever interested in following her Facebook channel for Haiti, let me know and I will share that with you. She has... I've known her for 22 years, I think it's been. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. She's a great person, a spiritual woman. I, she's she's followed me through the depths of hell and back. And um, she started watching my channel. And so <laughs> she was, <laughs> she text messaged me. She's like, I gave her some wax. And she said, did you put those blends in there? And I was like, what blends? And she's like, you know, some of those blends that you made. And I was like, oh, well, which ones? And she wanted my evenings with Andrew. Obviously, she, she's she been part of my family for a long, long time. She's been there with every part of my son's life, all my kids, you know. And so I said, I didn't. Let me see what I have. And so I do have some to share with her. But it, she's starting to talk wax verbiage. And you know how we all get excited about that? Like, oh, she's asking about wax and she wants to know this and she wants to know that. So it's been a lot of fun. And we're going, like I said, we're going to Texas together, but she's not into me videoing her, which is, I have no problem with. It's just, you, you respect people's choices. I zero conflict with that. So every time we go, um, I usually take videos for my kids anyway, but um, like I said, I will do maybe a little bit of vlogging, but not like full force because A, it's vacation and B, I, I'm respectful of her. But as you know, I will say that Etta and I are meeting up on Saturday. So I'm sure Etta, if she wants to, I will do a little bit of vlogging with her um, if my friend will hold the camera and then maybe her and I will just do a little hello. I don't even know. I, I don't know. If she just wants a picture, I'm totally fine with that. Like no pressure seriously for me. I'm just so excited and blessed. I wish that I wasn't, I wasn't flying with just a carry on because I don't bring a suitcase. I literally put in five outfits. I vacuum seal it with one of those bags. It's not a vacuum seal because you don't need a vacuum, but you just push all the air out and then you seal it. And I only pack with a backpack because you're sitting on the beach most of the time anyway. And I just have found, I, it stresses me out to go pick up luggage and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a girl's trip. We literally are just going to sit on the beach and I'm probably going to bring one nicer outfit when I go meet Etta. Uh, well, I know I am. And then in case her and I go anywhere that I want to wear a cute little dress, but I'm rambling, but I just wanted to share that all with you because this is my channel and this is me. And sometimes I just like to talk to you, but I hope you enjoy the chatty parts of these every week because I feel like it makes us more connected. And we are a society where sometimes we don't always get together. 
And if this is your interaction for the day, I hope it's a good one. And I hope you know that I truly appreciate you hanging out with me, listening to me, watching whatever you do. Um, because like my friend, and a lot of us have said, sometimes we're cleaning the house and we're only listening. And then I will go like a video and then I will try to go back and comment. But I feel like I watch so many videos. So if I watch you and I don't comment, but I like your video, I am listening. Um, but I just feel like it's my daily thing. Like, like I said, when I'm cleaning or doing something, I'm listening to someone. I'm, you know, I don't want to watch the news sometimes. It gets a little bit overwhelming in the world. So thanks for hanging out with me and chatting with me. And I'm super excited about my trip, clearly. And I'm excited to meet Etta. And I, yeah, anywhere if I'm going, if I can meet up with somebody, I am super excited and happy to do it. So I still think we need to do a wax con. Right, because that's like Comic Con. We need a wax con. Um, we can change the name if you like. I don't. I'm not the creator of it. Like, I don't need to be that person. But I really am like pushing some of my friends. Like, let's meet up and invite whoever wants to come, and re rent a big house on the beach and have a great time. And you know what? Just enjoy each other and wax and um, just be present. So I don't know. With that being said, I'm rambling. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.